hi everyone let's solve for the value of x all values of x okay first let's open these brackets okay because a divided by b raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n okay so they will share the power now that means that we can write this as x squared plus 3x squared divided by x minus 3 squared this is minus okay is equal to 16 so we have x to the power of 2 plus 3 squared will give us 9 x squared will give us x squared divided by x minus 3 squared is equal to 16. Now let's solve this, okay? This same thing as x squared over 1. Now the LCM of this and this is x minus 3 squared. So we have x minus 3 squared, okay? Sorry about the noise. Now where 1 is divided by this, okay? When 1 divides this, we still have this. So we are going to use this to multiply our numerator. So we have x squared bracket x minus 3 squared plus now when this is divided by this we have one one times this is this still the same right is equal to 16. now let us note that a minus b squared okay a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared all right but before that if this is the first time you're seeing us Click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell. Yes, so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload videos daily, every day, two, three times in a day. So click our uh, tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. Thank you so much. And give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you. Now, when you open these brackets, so it means that we are going to have x squared brackets x squared that is a squared that is x squared minus 2ab 2 times x times 3 which is 6x plus b squared plus 3 squared which is 9 right then plus 9x squared is equal to 16. now let us open these brackets remember everything is over x minus 3 squared now let's open this bracket. If we do that, x squared times x squared. Remember that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Okay? So that means that this will be x to the power of 2 plus 2, which is 4, minus 6 x to the power of 1, right? So 1 plus this will give us x to the power of 3, plus 9 times x squared is 9x squared, plus 9x squared, this everything divided by x minus 3 squared is equal to 16. now let us continue if you look at what we have we have x to the power of 4 minus 6x to the power of 3 plus this plus this will give us 18x squared divided by x minus 3 squared is equal to 16. now this x to the power of 4 can be factorized as x squared raised to the power of 2, right? Yes, because 2 times 2 will still give us 4, minus. Now, let's factorize this. This and this has 6x squared in common. So, we have minus 6x squared, open bracket. Now, when this is divided by this, x will remain. Then, when plus 18x squared is divided by minus 6x squared, we have minus 3x remaining. Oh, minus 3 only. We have minus 3 remaining, okay? Now, everything divided by x minus 3 squared is equal to 16. I don't know if you can still see this. So, let us continue from this side. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? If not, I believe you are enjoying this video. Please give us a thumbs up. Now, let us distribute this denominator for this and this. So, what we now have is x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 divided by this right x minus 3 squared then minus we have 6x squared bracket x minus 3 divided by this as well x minus 3 squared right and this is equal to 16 so permit me to clean this is equal to 16 is equal to 16 now look at what we have here 
you can see that this and this they share the same power so we can bring this and this together so we have x squared divided by x minus 3 everything raised to the power of 2 they share the same power minus now this is x minus 1 x minus 3 it can divide this to give us one will remain right so this side we are going to have 6x squared divided by x minus 3 only one will remain is equal to 16. now i want you to look at what we have on the board closely when you look at them you notice that we have x squared divided by x minus 3 here and x squared divided by x minus 3 here. so we can actually factorize that out so if we do that we have or yes we can call it something to simplify the equation so we can say let x squared divided by x minus 3 be equal to y all right so if we say this is equal to y that means this is y squared now we have y squared minus then we have 6y right 6y is equal to 16 everything is equal to 16 now let's bring this to this side of the board we have y of the equation sorry we have y squared minus 6y plus 16 we cross become minus 16 is equal to 0. Now, we need two factors of minus 16 that when we add them together, we have minus 6. And those two factors are 2 and minus 8. Because 2 times minus 8 is minus 16 and 2 minus 8 is minus 6. So we have y and we have y again. Since this is what the coefficient of y squared is 1. This is the fastest way to factorize. So the two factors is plus 2 and minus 8, right? 2 minus 8 is minus 6. 2 times minus 8 is minus 16. And this is equal to 0. Now, that means that y plus 2 is equal to 0, and y minus 8 is also equal to 0. So from here, y is minus 2, and y is 8. But remember that we are not looking for the value of a, a, y. We are looking for the value of x. So stay tuned and see how we got our x from y. Now, recall recall that we said let our y be equal to x squared divided by x minus 3 this is the value of our y so we are going to solve when y so when y is equal to or uh, minus 2 when y is equal to minus 2 that means we have minus 2 is equal to x to the power of 2 divided by x minus 3 okay i don't want this video to be long that is why i'm like trying to hasten up now let us cross multiply minus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to x squared right so we continue now the other value of y is y is equal to 8 i want to write it somewhere because i'm going to clean this anytime minus 2 times x is minus 2x minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6 right is equal to x squared now this is a quadratic equation let's transfer everything to this side if we do that we have x squared minus 2x we cross to become plus 2x and plus 6 we cross to become minus 6 is equal to 0 now we have x squared plus okay now let's find the value of x and to do that we need to use the quadratic equation formula so using the quadratic equation formula we have that A here is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. B is the coefficient of x, which is 2. C is the constant, which is minus 6. Now, recall that our x using the quadratic equation formula is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So that means that x is equal to minus b, that is minus 2, plus or minus square root of b squared that is 2 squared minus 4 is i think this place is down let's continue from this side okay all right have you given us a thumbs up yet if not please do that so let's continue from here we have that x is equal to minus b that is minus 2 plus or minus square root of b squared that is 2 squared minus 4ac that is 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by rc is minus 6 everything divided by 2a which is 2 multiplied by 1 now we have x is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus minus is plus 
4 bracket 6, right? Everything divided by 2. So our x is minus 2 plus or minus. So when we factorize 4 out, we are going to have 4 divided by 4 is 1 plus 4 multiplied by 6 divided by 4. We have 6 remaining divided by 2. So we have x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 bracket 7 divided by 2. All right? Have you given us 8 terms up? So let's continue. Now, we have x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. We, the, we expand this. So this is root 4, square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 7, divided by 2. So x is minus 2, plus or minus 2 root 7, divided by 2. Now, we can factorize 2 out from here, since we have 2 as our new, uh, denominator. So let's do that. So if we bring out 2 here, minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1, plus or minus 2 divided by 2, 2 root 7 divided by 2 will give us root 7, right? Divided by 2. Now, this we can see this. We have x is minus 1 plus or minus root 7. Now, this is the first and the second value of x. This minus 2 I'm having here. I hope it's right. Yeah, it is correct. Okay. Now, this is what we have as the first and second value of x. Let's quickly get the third and fourth value of x from y equals 8. Now, recall that we also have that y is equal to 8. Recall that y is also equal to 8. And remember that our y is x squared divided by x minus 3. So let's substitute y equals 8 into this place. So we have 8 is equal to x squared divided by x minus 3. Now we cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we have x squared times 1 is still x squared is equal to 8 bracket x minus 3 okay so we have x squared is equal to 8x minus 24 8 times x is 8x 8 times minus 3 is minus 24 now let's bring everything to the left hand side so we have x squared 8x we cross become minus 8x and minus 24 we cross become plus 24 is equal to 0 now in this case our a is equal to 1 our b is equal to minus 8 and our c is equal to 24, okay? So we substitute these values into this quadratic equation formula that says that x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So I don't want this, this video to be too long. So I'm going to stop here, believing that you can finish this up, yes. Just substitute these values into this place and get the remaining two values of A, of X, making the values of X to be 4. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye. Thanks.